Hi, it's Kate here. So I'm super nervous as this is my first ever YouTube video. Um, but I thought I'd just bring you a Jackson's art haul. Sorry, you can probably tell how nervous I am in my voice. Um, but yeah, so it's a small Jackson's art haul and then a few products that I picked up from a local art shop as well that I'll probably take you to one day because it's such a lovely shop. Um, so I'm based in Sheffield, my name's Kate, um, and I'm an artist. Um, and I mainly paint abstract landscapes, um, and I'll obviously show you, hopefully, <laughs> a few of those in the future. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just break the ice today with a quick art haul from Jackson's. Um, so they've got a sale on at the moment, a Caran d'Ache sale, and Caran d'Ache is like one of my favourite art suppliers. Um, and I'm obsessed with the Neo Colour 2 crayons, they're incredible. Um, so I picked up a few of those individual ones, not a set, um, because I, when I buy the sets, I often find that I don't use like many of the colours. So today I've picked out the colours that I know I, I definitely love and I, I really want to try. Um, so you'll see those um, and yeah, I'll just get into it. Always wary with these boxes, like when you put into them, not to get too deep into the art materials. Yeah, see, I didn't do that properly, did I? <laughs> Epic fail. One. It's getting into the box. Right, we'll just fill on rip it. Right, so I always love how precious they are um, with wrapping stuff at Jackson's. It's always like I'm wrapping little Christmas parcels. <laughs> So, ah, so these are the Sennelier pastels. Um, so yeah, uh, I've never tried Sennelier pastels, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. So I'll open them in a second. And then these must be Neo Colour 2s. They're all so cutely wrapped individually inside with a little sticker and a little package. I just find it's just a really lovely way to open things when you get a Jackson's parcel. see the colours in person it's just oh it's a lovely selection okay so let's try and line these up a bit hopefully you can see them all yes so this is what I mean I've picked out um shades that I know I'm definitely going to use so there's earthy tones in here um pinks that I love, a bit of blues, but I have already got, um, let's see if I can find it, so I have already got the 15 set, um, which I got on Amazon a while ago now, um, and it was a very good deal, I think it was like only about £15 for this 15 set, um, and so they're the very basic sort of rainbow of colours um, and I always find myself just gravitating to a very f very few of them uh, so there's this blue that I use a lot and then there's this ochre that I use a lot um, but the others yeah I just find them a bit too vibrant for my kind of work which you'll see um, in the future but I yeah so I, I really prefer the earthy tones um, as you can see today that I've bought this selection here which is just yeah uh more me just looking at the colors now 
I can tell that I'm going to use these a lot. Um, they're, they're beautiful. I'm really happy with those. Um, so then I also got this, which now has a pastel on it. Um, this smooth painting panel, um, it's Jackson's own brand. This was on offer as well, like really good price. Um, so I thought I'd try this out. Usually I use the canvas panels um, and gesso them myself to create a smooth surface because I'm not that keen on too much of a texture on the surface. But then I saw this and this is a very smooth surface. Um, I thought I'd just give this a try without even gessoing over this, but I am a, a little bit worried like the, the art materials I use so I mainly use acrylic um, and like these sort of Caran d'Ache materials over the top of the acrylic, but I'm just a little bit worried that the original acrylic paint won't adhere very well if there's no tooth to the panel, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine and I'll um, obviously let you know how I get on with that. Um, but yeah, I, just, I thought I'd give that a try as well. Um, so then, yeah, the Sennelier pastels that were in this box as well. We dig into those. So yet again, this was me. I'm not. I'm not going to buy a full set of Sennelier pastels without trying a few first. And I probably, to be honest, I never probably will buy a full set. They are very expensive. Um, and I just find picking out the colours that you really know that you're going to use and like is a much more cost effective way of doing it. Um, and yeah, times are a bit tricky at the moment. So yeah, it's saving money and doing it this way by buying the colours that you know you're going to use is my preferred way of doing it. Um, so yeah, I've got a lovely selection of earthy pink tones here. I'm excited to try those as well. Um, I'll swatch them out, as I say, in my next video, I think. Um, yeah, just to sort of show you the colours and how buttery they are, I guess. People have been saying that they're really buttery and um, soft to use. So, yeah, I'm excited about using those. Um, so then the three things that I got from my local art shop are these. Um, so first we have the Winsor Newton Galleria Acrylic um, and this is in Buff Titanium. I love this colour. Um, it's just a beautiful beigey warm tone um, which I prefer to use instead of white sometimes when I'm putting like quite a big white wash on top of something I'll use this instead. Um, so I'll show you how I use that as well in a future video. But yeah, this buff titanium is a really, really favourite colour of mine. Um, and Winsor & Newton, this paint is just really good. I don't use it that much, to be honest, um, as I prefer to use the System 3 by De La Rowney, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, I do like this paint. It's good. <laughs> and then I've got a Derwent XL Charcoal in Ochre. This is, again, a beautiful colour. Um, show you the size of the block. I have used this a little bit just to play around with it already. But yeah, it's a very big charcoal block. Um, and yeah, it <laughs> it's a bit messy to use. It rubs all over the place, but uh, with a bit of fixative, you can fix the marks in quite easily. Um, I use it on top of acrylic. Um, as like a bit of a, I don't know, mm, it is for quite strong marks, yeah, but then maybe a bit of um, a wash as well, just on top of the acrylic. So yeah, that's that one. And then I got this pack of Inscribe Pastels, um, so these are soft pastels. I, I'm not a huge user of soft pastels to be honest. Um, and this is my first pack, uh, so I went for quite a cheap brand. I'm just trying to work out which way around this is. I know it's that one. Um, but these had a lovely selection of colours. Um, yeah, they just look so lovely. <laughs> I love opening pastel boxes. Just the colours just make me so happy. Um, 
yeah, so I've not used these yet, but I've been told that you can sort of activate soft pastels with water um, to use more in a sort of painterly way, I guess. Um, so I'm really excited to try those out. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd just start off with a re relatively inexpensive brand first to see how I get on with them because it's not something I use that often. Um, but yeah, so these are the colours and they're quite small little half size sticks. Um, but they're just such an amazing array of colours, I love them. In the Caran Dash sale at the moment at Jackson's, these were really good price. Um, so if you're interested in going to get those, I would highly recommend doing so. I think they also have a few sets in the sale. Um, but yeah, as I said, individual is the way that I prefer to go because I can then select out exactly what colours I want. Um, and yeah, so... I bet this has been a bit of an awkward watch because I'm so nervous, but um, I hope you enjoyed that and I will be around hopefully with more videos. I mean, I started, I'm starting this in 2024 um, as a sort of way to build a community as at the moment I feel a bit lonely in my art practice. It is just me at my kitchen table and my friends and family aren't too interested in what I'm doing. So I was just doing this really to create a like-minded community and um, who can follow along on my art journey and then hopefully we can share each other's experiences and yeah just really to connect with people over art um, and I'll obviously just, my next video will be swatching these out um, all the materials I've shown you today and then I'll get into showing you some of my work and um, some of my sketchbooks um, yeah, just so you can get an idea of what I do. Thank you very much. Bye.